Hello everyone, I am Dheeraj. I am here to discuss few challenging problems from basic electrical circuit, right, uh, for interview preparation, right. If you are preparing for uh, Texas instrument interviews or you can say if you are preparing for uh, Texas instrument sponsored uh, IIT Madras MS program. So these are the questions which are uh, frequently asked in the uh, during the interview right so you have to focus on these questions before getting uh, into any interview you need to solve these questions to get fair idea right so you're going to get fair idea after solving the question so let us see what are the questions right and you can put your answers in the comment box okay, after solving these questions so let us directly uh, take a look you know what kind of questions are there right and I'm not going to discuss the solution here if you want solutions and if you are facing any kind of difficulties you can immediately contact me on different social media platforms right so thank you so much let's get started so there is a very first question you can see here uh, the very first question okay uh, the very first question here is that okay, the very first question evaluate and sketch right uh, output waveform v0 and when when uh, uh, marked i0 t in the following so vit is the step input okay uh, that is bp applied at t equal to 0 so these are the circuit basically right as you can see here uh, these are the circuit so uh, in this circuit these are simple rc circuit right now when you are going for analog design interview at texas instrument okay so uh, Texas is known for analog basically, right? So uh, if you're going for Texas instrument uh, uh, interview in India, so you need to prepare these uh, these uh, basics, you know, you should be familiar with capacitor and resistance circuit, RC circuit, simple single time constant circuit, right? So uh, this will be the input given, okay, uh, VI is will be the step input here at t equal to zero. So you can see here, the very first circuit okay here we have you have to consider as well the capacitor inductors have zero initial condition so what are the expected question can be asked during the interview right so yeah you might have seen this kind of question but what kind of what they want exactly so you must be able to solve these questions by inspection right you must be able to find you must be able to sketch the output waveform okay uh, at whatever instant they will ask for and you you must be able to find the time constant of the circuit right and you must be able to tell the initial slope okay of the output waveform and so on and so forth right so let us see the very first question here uh, uh, as you can see the capacitor they have made assumption that the capacitor and inductors have zero initial conditions right so your capacitor is initially what discharge and initially at rest right so you can see here this this is basically kind of step input here you can apply t at t equal to zero okay and uh, the maximum is bp okay so you need to find what the initial condition kya find karna hai aapko aapko initial rate find karna hai initial condition to aapko di hai ki initial condition is basically zero right so aapko initial rate find karna hai or you can say slope okay, waveform this is going to be RC circuit, okay? And how you capacitor charge and discharge, you must know, okay? Next. So, uh, next question is going to be, uh, you know, we are interchanging the position of C and R here, right? Again, the same input would be applied and you have to find the output waveform again here, right? So, these are the questions you must be able to, uh, you know, determine by inspection, right? So, this question can be also asked. This is also one kind of combination of capacitor uh, which is memory element and the resistance right so the topic you might have studied in network analysis and basic electrical engineering such as a uh, transient okay so these are the topic belongs to that topic only so aapko ye samajhna hai to waveform output waveform aapko find karna hai sketch karna hai basically by inspection okay and uh, next hum log chalenge to aap ye next circuit aap dekh sakte hain they have just extended they have connected two resistance here right in the first set of problem there was only one resistance and one capacitance you need to find output across the capacitance 
you need to find output across the resistance right now again the same input is given here the step okay at t equal to 0 and uh, the uh, you know amplitude is the vp here and here two input two resistances are given right so you have to again find the uh, initial slope initial slope of output waveform and you have to see what kind of changes you are going to get right and draw and sketch again the output waveform across the capacitor okay and you need to uh, sketch the output waveform that 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 is going to be voltage waveform across the capacitor right and again you can see here they have kept two capacitor here in okay and uh, one resistance in parallel right so again you have to find this so this is wonderful problem here so this c problem and this is d problem so you can try this problem guys and if you're facing difficulty uh, if you are unable to solve this problem by inspection okay i mean i mean to say by inspection means you need to use your sanity check right you need to solve questions intuitively right you don't have to solve differential equations uh, unless otherwise stated in the question they will mention you know this you write the differential equations write all these things right uh, next let us go to next question and you know we are increasing the difficulty level here so uh, these are the problem uh, taken from higher than Kimberly book okay which is very very good book for uh, basic electrical engineering you know for network analysis so you can solve these questions so here again the step questions okay this ladder aapka diya hua hai. you can solve these questions okay. so uh, uh, same thing same thing you have to draw the output waveform and uh, whatever question was there again you can see here uh, question is what evaluate and sketch v not t right you have to find the output and sketch okay next so these are the questions you can try these next problem is now we have replaced uh, you know capacitance with inductance here so output waveform is going to be current waveform right so aapko ye samajh aana chahiye ki what are the state variable in case of capacitance state variable in case of uh, uh, you know in case of uh, inductance right so ye aap try kar sakte ho there is no difference just uh, we have just changed the uh, location or position of L and R and finding the output across uh, the elements, right? Now, you can see that R and L are in the series now, and here again, same concept, right? So, you can try these questions, okay? Let me get back again. I and J, very good problems, okay? You have to find the output and you have to find you have to sketch the output waveform okay in the examination they will ask you they will give you some rc circuit and they will immediately ask you what uh, sketch the output waveform so if you're going to solve differential equations and uh, the way if you're going to use uh, laplace transform uh, analysis right uh, that is going to consume your hell lot of time and that uh, put a negative impression on the candidate you know while getting interviewed by texas instrument team or any iit madras professor right anyway so these are the questions again you can try now we have taken you know uh, two inductance and two cap two resistance and put them in series this kind of a network you can try this kind of network so these are the questions again you can see there is a capacitance okay so rc okay resistance and capacitance combinations are very very important to be tested during the interview so your question will get started your interview will get started with the questions rc network right i have given interview at isc bangalore and iit madras and i got to know that they always start with capacitance and resistance simple rc circuit right and they will also ask you to locate uh, you know time constant on uh, output waveform right so you must be able to locate the time constant right as well understand and next question is going to be here our uh, next question so i'm just gonna take this highlighter here uh okay guys so you know so next question is going to be just uh, so that you you get used to current input okay and uh and the current input is going to be step current of the value ip right so again the same same story now there is no series and series connections of r and c okay rc now they have uh, you know made combination of r and c in parallel and you are applying current input right 
again you're going to evaluate uh, the output waveform across the capacitor as well as this case the output waveform so see any combination can be given you have got a series combination right so element can be connected in series or in parallel right लेकिन अगर आपको थोड़ा सा बेसिक आइडिया है बेसिक आइडिया राइट तो यू वुड बी एबल टू क्रैक दीज इंटरव्यूज राइट तो आपसे बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्क्यूट ही पूछा जाता है क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट फ्रॉम ओपैम एज वेल सो आई एम गोना सो यू वेरियस प्रॉब्लम्स सो दिस इज गोइंग टू प्रॉब्लम सेट वन ओके फॉर टेक्सा इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो आई हैव गॉट मल्टीपल रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम डिफरेंट यू नो बिग इंस्टीट्यूट सचेज बिट्स पिलानी एंड जितने भी इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैं इंडिया में वहाँ से मुझे YouTube में भी कमेंट आया है प्रीवियस जो YouTube यू नो सेशन था उसमें बहुत सारे कमेंट्स हैं इनफैक्ट आई हैव बीन कॉन्टैक्टेड इन डिफरेंट सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म साइट सो दीज आर द सेट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम यू कैन सॉल्व एंड इफ यू फेस एनी डिफिकल्टी यू कैन इमीडिएटली कॉन्टैक्ट मी ऑन डिफरेंट सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स और यू कैन ऑल्सो कॉन्टैक्ट मी वाई माई मेल आई डी इट मी धीरज डॉट मिश्रा नाइन सो Uh, depending upon your feedback i would be creating contents on this youtube channel for your better future right so you can see uh, these are c and d problems so you can try these problems next problem is what you can read this see before you you know attack on the problem solving you must read the problem first and you must understand what the question is asking basically uh, in all uh, the previous problems open circuit capacitor or short circuit the inductor and evaluate v not right you have to do this according to the questions given i not okay and uh, as a real how are the values to obtain related to v not t and i not t okay so aapko ye karna hai yahan par aur aapko dekhna hai ki what kind of values you get right so you can try this question as well ab aapko ek question ye bahut acha question yahan par diya hua hai aap dekh sakte hain it so one capacitor is connected here right and they are saying that it is initially charged that is up to one volt must be connected to a resistance okay to a switch to discharge it agar resistance aap connect karte hain maan lo isolated capacitor hai right okay you are putting isolated capacitor hai it is charged okay initially charged and if you want to discharge it to aapko yahan par kya lagana padega resistance connect karna padega so that capacitor will get discharged to the resistance right and time constant discharging time constant will be rc okay uh so you can so try this question as well uh this kind of question uh you know uh, one capacitor here you can try this question right and uh, the switch is uh, connected using okay these long wire ye bahut bada wire hai yahan par dekh sakte hain these are the values and you have to calculate the what are the zero to infinity itdt and zero infinity i square tdt in three cases you have to find these questions and what are damping factor in each case aapko find karna hai theek hai to agar aap thoda sa revise karenge rc circuit okay and rlc circuit to yahan par aap dekhenge ki l circuit is also l is also there right to ye kaisa circuit hai aapka this is r lc kind of a circuit right so definitely you can expect some oscillation as well okay and uh, now you you would be able to get dampings you you can find out the damping uh, quartic factor okay you will get some characteristic equations and you can try this question next so ye aap dekh sakte hain ki yahan par three elements are connected in parallel rlc and this current source is driving entire circuit here right so you have to write down the differential equation see they have stated specifically you have to write the differential equations okay and you can also go for laplace transforms and you can determine the condition for under damped critical damped okay and over damped case how do you, how do these camp okay these compare to the series rlc case so compare bhi karna hai series rlc case se right so ye to aap padhe hi honge rlc circuit se belong karta hai okay sabse pehle aapka basic R, rc then rl and then rlc first order सर्क्यूट ये हैं लेकिन ये सेकंड ऑर्डर सर्क्यूट हो जाता है क्योंकि देर आर टू मेमोरी एलिमेंट्स तो ऑर्डर इज डिसाइडेड बाय हाउ मेनी मेमोरी एलिमेंट्स आर देयर इन द सर्क्यूट राइट सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली टेल द ऑर्डर ऑफ द सर्क्यूट राइट ओके सो दीज आर द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट द वे यू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन मैटर्स ड्यूरिंग द इंटरव्यू 
right it's not a any 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 written examination where uh, you have to get the answer right so you have to follow step by step procedure right? you must know how to solve questions by inspection or by sanity check and so that interview would be able to gauge your presence of mind and sense of understanding right so this is one of the very important question already you might have this question might have seen this question in my different sessions on uh, Texas instrument interview preparation right so there are two RC circuit connected in uh, cascade you can see r1 and c1 r2 and c2 you have to write the differential equations okay v not okay as a variable and determine the natural frequency aapko yahan par natural frequency find karna hai damping factor right and all these things you have to find out so these are the questions which are very very important guys you can read the question what is the lowest damping factor high if they are talking about lowest damping factor matlab they are asking the highest quality factor you know so ye sab aapko thoda sa yaad rakhna that is possible for this circuit and what are the condition for this to happen aapko condition bhi batana hai RLC circuit, you know RC circuit. So all these basics you must be good at. Okay. So without without writing differential equation, you must be able to analyze the output waveforms. Okay. And uh, some of the very important questions which I can tell you is that. Okay. So आपको questions कैसे पूछे जा सकते हैं? पहला question ऐसा कि output waveform. Output waveform. दूसरा question they might ask कि locate the Locate uh, time constant of the circuit, right? On the waveform. And third, you can ask the question: What is the initial slope? What will happen in the output waveform? For example, if you apply this step, then your output waveform will come like this, right? So, initial slope, how do you determine the initial slope? You must be able to do that. Initial slope, because I have been interviewed, so I was asked this kind of question, right? So, if you want demo. Uh, for Texas Richmond, you can directly contact me via different social media. You can check everything in the description box, right? My contacts and everything. Hello. The next question I'm going to talk about is uh, this kind of a circuit. Uh, you know, some combination you will find in the feedback as well. When we uh, design OPAM, so we put some kind of, uh, you know, RC combinations in the feedback. So that also give you different kind of uh, filtering operations, right? सो आपको ये समझना है कि why we put RC circuit in the feedbacks, why we put capacitor in the in front of the pump near the input, okay? So you know if you want operation like integration, differentiation, all these things, so you have to here specifically write the differential equation for V not. And अगर आप input में apply करते हैं क्या step input है यहाँ पर apply करते हैं ऐसे one board का so you have to find the total response you have to find the total response so these are seven questions which i hope you would be able to solve if you have any doubt okay if you have any doubt or okay, or you you want uh, free classes okay and uh, if you want to attend the class honestly so you can contact me you can contact me at 7005791 this is going to be my whatsapp number you can also contact me on different social media platform okay so i would like to wish you all the best for your interview this is going to be part one i'm gonna bring part two and more questions right thank you so much Right, this is going to be your session. Thank you.